Hi, this is Chubham from Monist View, and today in this podcast we are going to discuss about difference between SIP, that is Systematic Investment Plan, STP, Systematic Transfer Plan, and SWP, that is Systematic Withdrawal Plan. Over here we are going to discuss about what is the meaning, what are their differences, benefits, and bottom line. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, then the link of article provided in description. Also, if you want to watch the quick summary video of less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel. Monist view. So let's discuss SIP, SWP, and STP are methods of a systematically investing and withdrawing investments. Each of them serve as a different purpose and caters to different requirements of an investor. SIP helps you to lower your purchase cost by spreading out your investment over a longer period of time. STP, on the other hand, requires you to first invest a lump sum in an investment from where you can transfer fixed amount repeatedly into some of the other scheme whereas SWP helps you to withdraw a certain amount of a money from one of your funds at a regular intervals. Over here we are going to discuss about major differences as well. So let's start. The first one is a SIP. What is an SIP? A systematic investment plan or SIP is a method that helps you to invest in a scheme systematically. It helps you to spread out your investment that is invest fixed amount of a money into a chosen scheme in a regular manner over a longer period of time. This help with an automation of an investment as the money is often auto debited from your account. Once you activate an SIP and also goes on to invest in discipline manner, it also prevents you from committing a huge amount of your money to the market at a one go while retaining liquidity with you for your requirement. SIP help average out the volatility in the market over the long run and provide you the benefit of a rupee cost averaging. The investor often have the flexibility to choose the regularity of the investment as a monthly, weekly or even daily and also the requirement of an investment horizon that may be even across years or decades. An investment in a mutual fund through SIP route may cost as low as rupees 500 per SIP. You may pause or cancel SIP at any time. Now let's discuss what is this STP, Systematic Transfer Plan. Systematic Transfer Plan lets you move or transfer your money from one mutual fund scheme to another without the added hassle. You should choose this when you have a lump sum amount of money that you can invest. It does help you to spread out your fund over time to reduce the impact facing the market at its peak. However, unlike to SIP here, you invest your entire lump sum in one scheme first. After that, you need to keep moving your money little by little to other schemes. This process mostly works when debt and equity schemes are active. The core idea is to earn a little extra while transferring your money from one fund to another. You can also choose the time, amount, frequency within which you will move your fund. Now let's discuss what is SWP. SWP or Systematic Withdrawal Plan let you to withdraw a certain amount of money from your fund regularly. This scheme works best for retirees as they may need a regular income flow most of the time. However, people People also can use this method to rebalance current portfolio or invest in other scheme. This works like reverse STP as in here you invest a lump sum in a scheme and set frequency for how you want to withdraw your money regularly. Let's discuss briefly benefits of a SIP, STP and SWP. The benefits of SIP is this method ensures discipline and helps to make an investment habit. It provides rupee cost averaging. It also spread your fund and drastically decrease the impact of volatility with this method you can build a large corpus. Now let's discuss what are the benefits of STP. This scheme helps you to reduce impact of a market instability and you can choose the frequency of a withdrawal. While the benefit of systematic withdrawal plan is there is a no TDS it provides flexibility and scope for a regular income. Let's discuss what are the major differences between SIP, STP and SWP. SIP entails an investment scheme where you invest a certain amount of money at a regular interval over a some time. It can help you to build up a significant amount of financial assets in the long run while reducing the impact of investing an erroneous sum at once. These are one of the most stable mechanism to invest. With STP, you can choose the time or interval at which this process happens. This way, you protect yourself from market instability by spreading out your funds, mainly the method used in investing in debt 
debt securities swp lets you to withdraw your money from the lump sum you invested in a scheme regularly again you set the interval routine this process work best for retirees and people planning for a future scenario now let discuss what is the bottom line over here with regular retail investors the market is booming however the volatility of a market can be really high for some investors this is where investment and withdrawal mechanisms like sip swp stp come into picture depending on your goals capital and timeline you can choose one or a combination of this to ensure a regular returns if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article provided in a description also if you want to watch the summarized video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monist view thank you guys for joining with us here shubham from monist view signing off thank you